Reading is awesome. And so are you. And so is this book. It's called Little Red Reading Hood and the Miss Red Wolf. This is a book based on the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood, but there's a twist. Did you see that word? Miss Red Wolf. That means that the wolf has been judged incorrectly. Most of the time when we think of wolves, we think about them being mean and vicious and maybe they fight or they are dangerous. But this wolf has been misread. So that's the twist to this story. And I'll give you an example of um, other times that things have been misread. See these two girls? They're dressed in their ballet outfits and they're dancing. Well, you may think that that's all they do, that all day long, all they do is dance and do ballet and that's it. Well, you would misread these girls because they do other things besides ballet. They climb trees. Paint. and read books like this book, Little Red Reading Hood and the Miss Red Wolf by Troy Wilson, illustrated by Alaria Campagna. Hmm, Miss Red Wolf. We normally think about them maybe trying to eat Little Red Riding Hood, but of course this is Little Red Reading Hood and the wolf has been misjudged. Miss Red. Aw, look at Little Red Reading Hood. Once there was a girl called Little Red Reading Hood. She loved red. She loved reading. And she loved the special hood her grandma had made. Hmm, that is a special hood. Do you see the book on the outside and the alphabet letters on the inside? And look, Grandma sewed that for her. One day, her grandma wasn't feeling well. So Red made a special treat for her and set off to deliver it. Mm, I wonder what her special treat is. What would you make for your grandma if she wasn't feeling well? Along the way, she came across a wolf. Mmm, he said, sniffing the air. I smell my favorite smell. Hmm, what do you think is the wolf's favorite smell? Luckily, Red had read what to do if you encounter a wolf. Maintain eye contact and slowly back away. So she did. The wolf kept sniffing and moved toward her. Luckily, She had read what to do if a wolf moves toward you. Stand tall, wave your arms, clap your hands, and throw rocks. So she did. No, no, said the wolf, sniffing deeper and moving closer. I just, ouch, 
I just want out. Oh, forget it, said the wolf as he slinked away. Red continued her journey. Along the way, a robin asked where she was going. Luckily, she had read what to do if a bird asks where you're going. Give a detailed description of your route while noting good spots for worms. So she did. Hmm, I just used the word route. The route to grandma's house. Some people would say route. The route to grandma's house. It's kind of funny, but it's true that that word with the same meaning can have two ways to pronounce it. So it's okay to say the route to grandma's house and it's okay to say the route to grandma's house. Finally, Red arrived at grandma's house. And of course, we know it's grandma's house because her name is on the mailbox. Dun, dun, dun. But the wolf had arrived first. Oh no. You know what she's probably thinking. She's thinking that wolves are mean and eat people. Luckily, Red had read what to do if you encounter a wolf dressed as a grandparent. Hint that you know their secret by pointing out their big features. So she did. What a big nose you have, she said. All the better to smell my favorite smell. Er, I mean, smell every smell, replied the wolf. He resisted the urge to sniff. What big ears you have, she said. All the better to hear every word. He really wanted to sniff. What big eyes you have. All the better to see every picture. He really, really wanted to sniff. What big teeth you have. All the better, he sniffed. All the better too, he sniffed and sniffed. Oh, forget it, said the wolf as he pounced. Oh no, if she were Little Red Riding Hood, she'd be in trouble. But she's Little Red Reading Hood. Hmm. Luckily, Red had read what to do if a wolf dressed as a grandparent pounces, shout, and swing an axe. Unluckily, she didn't have an axe. And her shouting sounded more like screaming. Hmm. But this wolf is the Miss Red Wolf. He's not the big bad wolf of Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm. Oh, look who has an ex. And is that the Robin talking to the man with the ax? Red ran for the kitchen. The wolf didn't waste a second. His big jaws yanked the treat out of the basket. Home. Hmm. Is that the treat that Red made for her grandma?
Oh, that new book smell, he said. It's my favorite. Oh. Will you read this to me? Where's Grandma? demanded Red. But I am Grandma. Where's Grandma? But, but, no one ever reads to me, said the wolf. Will you please read to me? Please? She had never read what to do if a wolf sniffs the book you made for Grandma, asks you to read it, and doesn't once try to eat you. But Red did know that you can't judge a book by its cover. Okay, she said, if you bring me grandma, I will read to you both. So he did. Oh, oh no. What do you think is happening here? Hmm. They seem so surprised to see the mammoth axe and the birds with them. The man and the bird arrive together. Hmm, looks like Little Red Reading Hood is explaining how she misread this wolf. He isn't the big bad wolf who likes to eat people. He likes to read books. She had misread him. And luckily, they all loved books. Who doesn't love a good book, right? Books are so fun and so interesting. And I love reading them with you. This book was fun because we learned that root and route, although they sound different, can mean the same thing, the route to grandma's house or the route to grandma's house, same thing. And we learned that you shouldn't judge a book by the cover or people by the cover. So even if someone is wearing a ballet outfit, doesn't mean they don't also climb rocks and trees or paint. You have to get to know people, ask questions and Decide if you like them or don't like them. Same with books. You have to dive into them and read them because reading is awesome.